Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead in a Box. My name's Leah. I'm super excited to have you here today. Hold on. <laughs> he does this to me. My name's Leah and this is Maynard. Also, we call him Rod Stewart. <laughs> We're super excited to have you here today. As promised, I'm going to tell you guys how my husband Tree and I completed our do-it-yourself garden beds last summer for absolutely zero money other than the cost of the compost that we put in the garden beds and the lessons that we learned doing that. I'm going to show you the finished product of the ones we did last year and I'm actually in the process of setting more up for this year's growing season on some land that our pigs have cleared off for me. They did a lot of the hard work for me. That way I didn't have to use a tiller or anything like that. So come on with me and I'll show you guys how we did it. A few things I feel like I need to be totally transparent about first is one, I live on top of a rock, okay? And we had no idea that we lived on top of a rock until we got here and we went to get our septic system dug and the gentleman who dug our septic system called us and said hey you know we have to drill it out and we were like what <laughs> and we do have some neighbors that are relatively close and um, the gentleman asked our neighbors like how they got theirs in and they said they had to drill theirs out as well so full disclosure i do live on a rock so here are the two garden beds that we did last summer that I grew in this winter. And as you see, we have used rock from our property. Uh, I said that funny, property. <laughs> um, we've just used rock that we found. Um, we have, Like I said, we have seven acres. And anywhere you dig or drill or anything like that, there's just huge rocks. Like, there's rocks that we've talked about making, like, complete benches out of for in the garden. Um, so this is what they look like completely finished. And then now I'll take you and show you how we've used our pigs to actually clear um the ground where we're putting some more beds at okay you can see some of the girls there <laughs> they're in it uh we moved our pigs here to this spot a couple months ago and we let them come in and they just kind of um tore the ground up and i've gone in and collected a lot of the big rocks out of it you see some of the rocks over there those are actually rocks that between the pigs and myself like we've gotten out of the <laughs> gotten out of the ground um over here you can kind of see um let me see where's my finger oh uh over there this is where they have pushed a bunch of rocks and things that were in the yard uh when they did the septic tank so we are not shy of rock okay over here you can see where i am have my workstation set up and i'm mid process on this bed um we had our hogs here a while back and so far i mean it was a while ago that i've got grass growing so at this point i'm a little late on doing something here but again the same concept we've just used rocks that we've went around and collected i actually have some in the back of the truck there uh that i have to put down um in this bed, I'm actually going to be digging a trench all the way down it and laying straw in it and covering it with some um, compost and topsoil uh, to try that. I've read a lot of books over the last while and I've read about a lot of different ways to garden and I'm super interested in all of them. Um, obviously we have rocky soil i am still going to try to grow in the ground in certain places especially with some tomatoes i'm trying to grow as many tomatoes as i can um that way i can make my own spaghetti sauces <laughs> and uh tomato sauce and crushed tomatoes and things like that um i will be trying different ways uh to garden they may not all work out <laughs> you know they may not be right for me and you know my my soil and things like that but I'm gonna try I feel like if I don't try I'll never know and overall I'm trying to get the most harvest so 
um, we have to try different ways to be able to obtain that. So uh, it may not work for you. You may not have access to rocks like this. Um, I've seen people utilize, you know, uh, cedar trees, um, electric poles. Uh, they've made just tin raised garden beds. Um, Roots and Refuge is a channel that I avidly am watch all the time and she has great videos on raised beds this is just what was convenient for me and what was had no cost to it and so we chose to use the rocks that were here on our property y'all this is reba and we're pretty fond of one another Say hi, Reba. I will have to get a fence, obviously. But they are fertilizing it for me. <laughs> That's how we're doing our gardens here at Homestead in a Box this year. Uh, like I said earlier, it may not work for you. You may not have access to the rocks. Uh, you can try anything, like I said, and la earlier in the week's video, anything that can hold soil, you can water and the water go through. It has oxygen, sunlight, and it'll grow. Uh, container gardening. I'm actually growing a few things in containers. Um, my next video will be about my green stock planter that I purchased. And I'm going to be unboxing it and putting it together. And it is perfect for people who live in apartments, who rent who you know don't have a way to uh, put in a garden people who might have a handicap that doesn't allow you to garden uh, so be sure to check out and be looking for my next video on the green stock planner and me unboxing it and putting it together thank you guys so much for coming and watching my video as always i'm sending you good vibes and send somebody that you might know some good vibes today until next time but before we go Here's my sidekick again. Isn't she beautiful? Say, hey, Reba. <laughs>